1989, researchers Art Kappa, Doug McCoy, and Mark Francis met with Rene DeHinden at the Vancouver Gun Club, where DeHinden had worked for many years. The men discussed Paul Freeman's alleged print find and subsequent cast of the footprints. This is an updated version of the video with the aspect ratio corrected and comments by Dr. Jeff Meldrum inserted throughout the video. Many thanks go out to researcher Larry Lund for archiving and making this footage available. Appreciation is extended as well to Gene Robinson for acting on Larry's behalf to forward the material. Thanks also goes out to Jeff Meldrum for providing comments and photos and for providing an alternative analysis of the Freeman Cass and Trackway. Meldrum would like to preface to Hinden's assessment of the Freeman print find and subsequent Cass with in regards to the comments made by Rene de Hinden concerning a trackway discovered by Paul Freeman in the Blue Mountains of Southwest Washington, it has elicited a number of comments, some justified, but several flatly not. I posted some discussion of pertinent points in the paper titled Sasquatch and Other Wild Men, The Search for Relic Hominoids. Now, sit back, relax, and enjoy this extremely rare footage of Rene de Hinden discussing some footprint cast made by Paul Freeman. They were 80 to 100 inches apart. This guy, man, Yeah, that's, that's yeah. that. That's the one going down the back. Remember, I sent me the photos. Yeah. The track up here, the track up here is four to six inches wide. And here it's four. Which just yeah, well, the, look how small the toes are there too. Well, how stupid. That that's not really a, a, a key thing to it in a way, but the toe arrangement. You know, I mean, it's just bloody ridiculous. Freeman said he he we confronted him, and he said uh, this. What's his name? This Tyler said to him, "Look at this. Uh, how do you explain that?" Freeman said, "I don't know." You know. I don't know. Freeman found them. No way. Here, yeah, measure 100 inches here. Move this three times up, will you? That's about 100 inches, right? Yeah, 30, 90, 90. Uh, That's how far the tracks were away between here and there, between 80 and 19 inches. One, two, three, four, this one on the bank. Hey, come on. Come on. This got that toes would be in that thing, but it would be an entirely different thing. 100 inches, 80 to 100 inches. You yeah. know, that guy just absolutely... Uh, and there's, there's Kranz, he has them. That's his tracks, he made the copies of them. It says right on the side. And the guy just stands there and says, yeah, I'm gonna sell them to the public. Yeah, the guy's a crook plain and bloody simple. Yeah. Irresponsible, unethical, and dishonest. No, none of the prints are consistent. Change over. Alright, now over. show me about the toes again. Alright. Okay, um, this is a right track, okay? Okay. Because it's like this here. Okay, so it's the right foot, right? Right. So you turn around. So here are your big toes and the toes in this curve here. Right. As you can see, they're stretched out. They are not like this, they are stretched like this. You see that? Yeah. Okay. So this little toe would stop, the bone would be in here, right? Right. Which is, I would say, close to half back in the foot, right? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So the toe is here. You have a bone structure here. Here you got the bone, here you got the bone, you have a joint here. Right. 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 right? Now, just stay here. So this here is the next number four there's right left right that's number four that's right down here and down the edge here here you can see it says uh, Freeman Kranz he made the copies I was there I got the photo this is the same foot the next step okay <laughs> number one it looked to me like this is the big toe right right more or less so the big toe is at the wrong side of the foot Number two, let's assume now that this is the little toe, which of course is screwed up. You see how the toes are like this, curved? How can this little toe now come up here? 
You see? Yeah. How can this tour here be up here? We interrupt this program to bring you a special report. As for the moving little toe, it simply demonstrates a lack of understanding of foot mechanics. When the foot is pronated or flattened, the toe row is more angled. When supinated, raised inner border, the toes are more square across the end of the foot. I've demonstrated this in conference pit presentations repeatedly. Concerning the short, odd-looking tapered toes, it's a result of the manner of the Sasquatch step, which usually pushes off from the forefoot rather than through the toes. Occasionally, the toes don't impress as deeply as the remainder of the track, and so appears as short, tapered triangles, only the bases of toe stems. I can demonstrate examples of this alongside other footprints of the same individual with the full length of the toe fully impressed. You got a bone structure in yeah. here. Yeah. Unless you got a hydraulic and with a little lever up your ass, you check him up as you go along, the toe move back as and he's forth. Walking, he's moving his toes back and yeah, forth. Yeah, the bone whatever. structure. And this is all Walla Walla, the same crap, over and over and over Which again. one is that, Renee? We interrupt this program to bring you a special report. The cast on the left is the one Renee is expounding upon. It's the same individual as that cast by Wes Summerlin, a remarkably clear and undistorted footprint. On the left, a cast by Wes Summerlin. On the right, a cast by Paul Freeman. These are of the same individual on separate occasions, years and miles apart. They are from the same Sasquatch. I have numerous additional examples of this individual. The subtleties of foot mechanics involved in supination slash pronation movements evident between these footprints should clinch it for anyone in the know. Now back to the show. This one here is the one up up on the road where uh, up there was two tracks one on the bank and one of them beside right beside the road. In this soil here where this track was I took my shoes and socks off, put my foot there and rolled them off, I could see my thermal ridges. I had to go way down to look at them. Because I compressed the, that little top layer of soil and I could see my thermal ridges in the heel. I didn't look in the toes. I was just concerned. Now you look at this track here in the same soil, there are no thermal ridges here. I mean, this would have been an ideal place for thermal ridges. Yeah. I left thermal ridges. You know, there are no cracks in here, no nothing. What is it? Left? Is it right? How can you tell? Looks like a right, uh, a left one. I want to emphasize one point that continues to make the rounds. It was asserted that in the succession of prints, there were two left footprints in succession. I specifically challenged Mr. DeHinden to demonstrate that with documentation, at which point he recanted and acknowledged that he had said sarcastically to one of the onlookers, it may have been Joel Harden, that there might as well have been two left feet, implying that he thought the evidence so dubious that it wouldn't have surprised him if there had been two left feet in succession. I encourage people to stop repeating this facetious misstatement. Now back to the show. You know, how can you tell? This track was like this. I blew a little dirt away when it was in here up, but there's a ridge up front. Blew a little dirt away. And, I, you know, I blew, I wanted to get the, the dirt out of the holes, in the toe holes. So I was down and blew it out instead of reaching in here and get my thermal yeah, yeah. shit. And I blew a little dirt off the top ridge. And underneath it was a little dirt with skin pattern on it. Because I was way down, blowing it like this, I had my eyes close, uh, uh, real close to the soil. Yeah. I don't know if I had my glasses on or what, I might have because I was watching for turmoil. And here was a piece of soil with the skin pattern on it. What do you mean, skin pattern? Oh, it's imprinted. There was a ridge up here, okay? Yeah. In the ground, okay? I blew into the hole here where right. the toes were. Right. And on that ridge was a little dirt, and once I blew it up, I blew away. 
and there was a piece of dirt lying there with, with skin pattern on. Like somebody which, touched it? Which indicated to me that the guy patted it down yeah. and then sprinkled dirt on top. Right. How did that goddamn piece of dirt with probably, you know, with the skin <laughs> pattern on? Yeah. But anyway, even all beside all that shit, there's no thermal ridges on this track. And in this case, the absence of thermal ridges, if the Sasquatch really show thermal ridges on the bottom of their feet, which if you have real heavy pads and, and real crack, look at the bare photos of the bear tracks. Could you really see thermal ridges? Isn't there dirt on the, on the foot? Isn't it all cracked up yeah. and real hot skin flaked off and all that? Can you really see thermal ridges on these tracks? Think about that one. So anyway, you know, that's a... What is it? It's a left? Is it a right? Can I, can I get you to hold two of these up? Let me take your picture with them. Mm -hmm. Any two of them, whichever you think. Well, this is the, the same foot. Same foot. Think about it. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Same foot. That's number two and this is number four. Okay, look in the camera. Same foot. How oh, can yeah. that be? He made a big boo-boo, I think. The Hinden was there. Yeah. He oh, screwed shit. up. He screwed up. I think he made a big mistake. And you see, he phoned Kranz the same night. He went into town, phoned Kranz. Now I forgot if he phoned that day because he didn't come back with the plaster pairs. We made the plaster pairs the next day. Yeah. But he phoned Kranz and he said Kranz, according to Freeman, sent some of his students down to pick him up. Okay. Picked up the cast. A few days later, one, two, three, four, five, I don't know how many days later, Kranz came by and delivered the cast to Freeman, according to Freeman. Anyway, it says right on the Freeman cut. If you look at any of his casts, it's written on the side. Yeah. Now, Kranz knew I was there. He never came to talk to me. Kranz never commented on these tracks any place. Yet here he writes his scientific papers about how, how real they are. Now, any idiot who looks up can see that they're faked. Yeah. So, therefore, therefore, uh, how often, how many fake tracks can Freeman find till even Kranz gonna smarten up? You know? Kranz never made a comment. He didn't have them on display up there. Maybe he knows they're fake. I don't know. But why didn't he put them there? That is a good question. Well, just look at the tracks he had there. Yeah. And look at the goddamn handprint he had there. Yeah, yeah And then this here up here, you see, Doug? This is, the, this is number five. This is the one which slid down the bank, yeah. you know. So he put your heel in and then it went like this here. Suppose don't walk away. The heel there is about five, six inches. Here it's four inches or less. Yeah, that's a skinny, hell yeah. Skinny, skinny heel. That's Just, and you see, the same type of track was found at the, in June the 10th. Of 82 when Freeman had his Sasquatch sighting. Mm -hmm. I, Joel Harden has a picture, the Forest Service has a picture where this track slides down the bank, same as this one, about four inches wide, <laughs> and the same, the same track where, where it slides down and then it spread down, you got the toes. Now is this one is fake? Anyway, that we don't even oh, have yeah. to consider. Harden looked at oh, the yeah. picture, the Forest Service looked at the picture, we said, what the hell? So if the tracks on his sightings were faked, are you believe that he ever saw a Sasquatch? No, no. Oh, Do no. you believe anything come from Freeman? No. Listen no. to the story he no. tells. He constantly, you know, he said, totally, if this guy were being caught as a witness, a half-smart attorney yeah. would shoot him down in the first five minutes. Yeah. Eat him right up. Eat, Eat him, him right, right up. up. Yeah. You know, and here is Kranz at this goddamn conference, standing there and says, we're going to sell it, we give the money to ISC, you know, and stands there, blunt holding a Sasquatch conference in an university, an idiot who believes this type of shit. <laughs> 
And you know, that's not the first time, you know, where, where he pedals copy. He just doesn't give a damn. I think that number two track here, you know, that's a very good track. If that would have been in the ground, you know, you saw the photo. Yeah. It's a very good track. You see what Kant is doing? He presents two tracks, a left and a right. And the terminal edge tracks are shaped like this here. Actually, they are so, such poor cats, but they are way back. The curve is way back. Yeah. You know, you can look in his uh, publication. Now, how can on the next foot change? Change where all the toes are like the pair pattern. <laughs> you know, the, yeah. the curve on the foot. And on, and on, and on. It gets to the point you just throw up your hand. Green knew they were faked, I'm sure. Tapemus knows they're faked. Yet these are members of this crap, the zoological society. They just, <laughs> they just sit there. They just sit there. They don't say anything. They don't scream. They don't jump up and down. Yeah. They, they, they don't confront the guy. Hey, in my view, if you support shit like this, even by not saying something, yeah. then you're equally guilty. Well, sure. They're irresponsible and unethical characters. No it's more. It's a joke. It's a joke. Well, no see, more. that creature depends on kind of ground. He moves his toes around, make it easier to walk, and you shift them around to the back, to the yeah, side. I, well, you know, I could, I could maybe believe that if you're walking in different, but my God, they wouldn't yeah, be different not, sizes. Not that, not that different. The toes wouldn't change size. No. They might have slight movement. Well, on Freeman's uh, Bigfoot, they do. Jeez. See, this is a left foot. See how wide that is <laughs> compared to this? Way wider. And that's number three. You see this? Well, Ma matches. Just about matches. Just, just bloody ridiculous. November 3rd, 87. And here it's uh, Freeman, whatever it says. 89. And Cran, there's, oh, there's a copyright on here, you know. 87, I think. That's ridiculous. Well, anyway. Mm -hmm. Did Cran see the tracks in the ground? No. No, he didn't come he up. Seen the cast. By the time he was around. Did he, he ever see the tracks in the ground? Yeah, he did. Back to 82. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He saw, uh, he saw tracks in the ground, you know, uh, some other place. But that doesn't matter with him, you know. How come one, oh, one goes on here, one goes here, I take yeah, this. an outline right there. Yeah. How come the two of these other ones go in there? It's utterly ridiculous. There. The Krantz is going on and on about those. And you see he ignores Harden with the other tracks. Yeah. And you heard them talking about then it's article just uh, oh well, I go on right on there, uh, wiping them out, just, you know. And we know Kranz, I mean, he's an idiot. That's why he has a PhD. And the other, that, what's his name again, that Tyler, I told him about the tracks, he saw the bitches of this tracks, he knew damn well they were wrong. And then he turns around, talks to the TV and says, yeah, but what about the terminal riches? <laughs> That's a joke. I, I look at these people, I get so, so bloody pissed off and frustrated with them that you, you know, that you get nasty. And then you get nasty and they think, boy, how can this guy get so upset? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. These people defrauding the public with this shit. Yeah. People are eating it up, that's the bad part. Huh? People are buying it. Well, no. They're eating it up. They're going to be shot down later, I'm not going to let loose, you know. Hey, I wasted film on that. <laughs> no. The trackway which Mr. DeHinden is commenting on is a legitimate trackway. 
The individual Sasquatch that left these footprints has been documented on numerous other occasions independently. That's a fact. Stay tuned for the next installment, which will show Rene DeHinden and Dr. Grover Krantz verbally sparring about the Freeman cast and trackway. Hopefully you're enjoying the extremely rare footage shared on this channel. Much appreciation again goes out to Larry Lund for providing this particular footage. Please show your support for unique content of this nature by subscribing and commenting. Stay well, stay safe.